part nine of our conversation with John Anderson. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Sorry, a while ago you had said the, you had someone had quoted you as saying that you had you were open to a yes reunion and you had a bunch of songs that would be good for a, a new album possibly. Uh, are those yeah. songs still around? Yeah, I wrote I wrote a song, a bunch of songs with Trevor and a couple with, with Rick, a big piece with Rick, which I love. And uh, you know we were on tour ARW and. You know, one thing that I've found over the years, a group of musicians is like that. It's the people on the outside, the, the promoter, the manager, and they're just trying to make money and you forget. And, and it's, it's just wrong of me to keep forgetting because I trust people. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll make the record. Yeah, we'll do it in, yeah, we're going to do it next March. We'll do it in February, March. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. And then you find out, wait a minute, <laughs> I just found out Rick's on tour in March. What's happening? I thought we were, oh no, but Brian and somebody said, you know, managers, mm. because they, they, they have a very, uh, managers have a tough job. They got to look after five crazy people, <laughs> or six or seven, you know, and they always sort of zoom in on one that they can handle. I think that's what's happened in my career. You know, they zoom in on somebody, they know they can, John's a bit over there, so let's take care of this guy, you know. It doesn't work in the end. It really doesn't work because uh, the, the band suppers, you know, I've left Yes twice and got kicked out when I got sick. I can't believe it. But that was the manager, you know. And I always say, managers put Mickey Mouse up there. They don't care. They don't care that audiences have paid a lot of money to see me sing. No, they'll put Mickey Mouse up. They don't care. By the way, one of the same guy, John Malanka, says, what was it like working with the Toto Boys in the City of Angels album in 88? What was that like? Really cool. Really cool. Because, uh, you know, at that moment in time, you know, Yes was very big. I was big pop star, rock star, to, you know. Record company said, we'll, we'll give you $300,000, make an album. I think it was more. And I said, okay, what are you going to make? I said, well, I'm going to go to Cuba and sing with the big bands because I loved Cuban big bands. They're just the bee's knees in terms of serious, serious stuff, you know. So they stopped the check <laughs> and said, no, it's not going to happen. But we have this... Uh, this producer guy who's a really nice guy who uh, had just finished uh, Simply Red album and so the guy got in touch with me and uh, he said I think we can get Toto the session musicians for the recordings is that cool? Yeah <laughs> yeah uh, so I went to see them in LA and wrote a song with them. You know, that's how you make, make friends, you know. Let's, let's write a song. You, you're damn good, you know. And uh, I, I even got in touch with, um, I, I can't remember who, who, maybe one of the guys in, in the band. Uh, said, well, you wrote with David Page. I know you wrote with David Page. Yeah. He said he knew Lamont Dozier. And I said, Holland Dozier Island? Lamont Dozier <laughs> said, yeah. I said, oh, very cool. So I went to meet Lamont in the valley, and we wrote three songs in the afternoon, you know, just like that. And one of them was Hold On To Love. It was such an upbeat song, you know. I thought we had a hit album, to be honest. And we made a video. I tried to dance. It looked stupid. It was the Phil Collins world at that time, so... It didn't work. My, my album didn't work, except it was a big hit in Quebec province. Really? Yeah, I found out about seven years ago, I went up to Quebec province to do a show in a festival of music, just went, you know, solo. And I got to the town up in the north of the province and everybody's so sweet and nice and we meet people. And I went around to the office that were running the festival 
and they were playing Hold On To Love. And I said, you don't have, you don't have to play the record because I'm here. And they said, what do you mean? So, you know, I'm cool. No, this was a big hit. I said, it was a big hit? I always thought it would be, you know. So at least somewhere, somebody got it. It was in the top 10 for a long time, the album. Well, there, you know, I, 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 as being a Canadian, uh, it, we're very familiar with the fact that in Quebec, something can be huge in Quebec and be unknown in the rest of, not only because it. of the French language, but beyond no, that. No, no. Same with France and Europe, in, in France and England. Things will happen in France you don't know they're happening. Yeah. Incredible. That's the tough thing about tapes, though. Right behind me, I've got a, a long list of interviews from the 80s. Gowan's on there, by the way. Hey, Larry. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, I, it sounds like this. <laughs> because yeah. they need to be baked. But, so. That's what we did with, with uh, 1,000 Hands. Yeah. And you know it, the story. Did you lose anything when you baked them? Were they good? I mean, obviously, they were good enough. But did you lose any quality at all? Incredible. Incredible quality. Incredible. You know, we've done a couple of other songs. We actually recorded uh, Nobody Told Me There'd Be Days Like These. Strange Days Indeed. Ooh, most peculiar, Mama. And we never finished that one this time. Probably put it on the next chapter. But um, it didn't quite swing as it should do. Because it's a uh, great song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt, help support our channel. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.